Hello everybody, welcome to another build video. Um, I just finished a few things off this build a few seconds ago. Um, I still have a bunch of stuff to work on. Now this is a LMG damage build, similar to another YouTuber. Um, the difference is I've changed my weapon and a bunch of my gear is a lot different than his. Um, if you guys were wondering who I'm talking about, is obviously Wids, because he made a LMG, a three-shot build, um, I think an hour ago? I don't know. Um, but I've also made one myself. I kind of had this build just lying around in my loadouts uh, for a while now, and I kind of want to finish it up just to have some content for you guys. But here is my LMG build. Now, it's a lot different from his. The only difference is I don't have the exotic sniper, which I'm not really going for. Uh, instead of D and H, I'm using Eraldi, cause why not? And plus, it has health on it. So, yeah, my build is a lot different than his because I am I'm more I'm a little more tanky than than him. So, but this is this is kind of similar. It's not exact. Um, I don't know why this P90 is here, but I just threw it on. Uh, so, Gila Guard Mask, which has nearly 6,000 health and 4% crit chance with self adjusting. That's really the only talent that I could put on there. I don't even know if it works, but I've been hearing some, some rumors that this specific talent doesn't work. I don't know. Uh,. I'm using Petrov Defense Group with 5% cooldown reduction, skill power, and health and bonus armor with On the Ropes and Hardened. Now, I really want to change On the Ropes with Safeguard because Safeguard is pretty much like the like the powerhouse of your build, really, if far as PvE. But I threw on Hardened because I noticed my armor was a little too low, so I kind of gave it some extra, you know armor I guess. Uh, my mods, actually I don't have mods on here but I do on some of my other gear. I forgot to show the mods on my mask. It's just utility mods that I d really dislike. This is my Gila Guard vest with uh, 7,000 health, 14.6 thousand bonus armor and 6% weapon damage with Bloodsucker. Now I couldn't find any other talent to use. I d really didn't want to use Berserk on every single build because that would really get boring. Even though it's a really good talent, but I just didn't want to use it. So I threw on Bloodsucker because if I want to play a tank build, I got to have something on top of that. I got to have him as much sustain as possible. Um, and here's my defense. Here's all three of my mods. Uh, just two defensive, one utility. Uh... Here's my Eraldi Holdings holster with 10% accuracy. as almost 20,000 health. Now, I was really lucky to get this. Um, I was farming control points, and I managed to get this. Uh, here's my offensive system mod, which has 3% LMG damage, 1% weapon damage, and marksman rifle damage. And, and these two pieces are running True Patriot uh, gloves with... 9% LMG damage and 2,000 health and True Patriot knee pads with 6% crit chance. Wish that was uh, armor or, or something because I really don't need that. Now I for forgot to show my weapons. Now here I noticed there's an error and this is dumb on my part. The M60 base damage is a lot higher than the M249B. I know that. I chose this because of the rate of fire. Eventually, I will change this build for an M60, obviously. Because I had an M60. It didn't have unhinged. It did have Allegro, though. And it had 30,000 base damage. I couldn't use it because it was low gear score and it didn't have unhinged. And my. Eventually, I either way, I couldn't use it because. I don't know why, but I'm just s sucked up into getting these gear score really high, which even though it really doesn't matter, but 
I just didn't want to use it. So this is the only gun that I managed to put unhinged on. This was what, what originally had unhinged was an L85. So I just kind of switched that over and Allegro. And the real reason I chose this is because of the rate of fire, because even though the rate of fire doesn't matter when it comes to LMGs, I want to have some type of advantage when I'm fighting players. So I just don't, you know, shoot bricks, you know, I just want to actually have some sort of, you know, fast fire rate, some sort. Uh, and a P90, I guess that's just for backup. I really wish this was something else. I could just look through and see what I can switch it out of. I have a Model 700. Maybe that'll help. I'm not a sniper person, so I might just throw in a police state 21. Might end up doing that. I don't know. And my skills, I have a chem launcher, oxidizer, and a fixer drone. This is what I have for my, this is my entire build. Now, I don't know if it's the game or it's me. I resetted my, my, my internet twice and I've noticed I'm getting a lot of delay or just lag in general. I, I don't know if it's the game or not, but that's the damage. And reloads pretty fast. I can control it well enough. Yeah, but this is my build. Um, it's a little similar, but not really. I mean, it would be even more if I had an M60, but it just wasn't really the greatest talents. But whatever uh, I'll stick with this one until I can upgrade it even better more likely I'll either upgrade the um, this which I'm not using this because it'll give me an extra it'll give me an extra damage point and I don't want that because I won't be able to use unhinged which has wait I think I don't know I'll just keep it at five I'm not too sure but whatever I'll just keep this which is not a bad just not bad at all uh, this has safeguard and self-adjusting yeah but this is my LMG damage build uh, I'm gonna make another SMG build soon just to just to give a heads up and thanks for watching like subscribe and See you in the next build video.